Hey, good afternoon, First ARP Church. Welcome to this week's Five at First. I'm Billy Marino, the church administrator here at First ARP, and this is our senior pastor. Hello, pastor everyone. Mike Huken. And uh, we have a few things to um, talk to you about today. Mm -hmm. So first, I wanted to let you know that when it comes to the communication that you all have been getting, there are three ways that you can, you'll receive any information that we have to give. So one would be through eBlast. The second would be through the bulletin, and the third would be through the church website. Now, some of those things that are on the um, church website and eBlast will also be on your church app that you could look at, but those are mostly events. So anything that's going on that you would have to sign up for or that you want more information for, you can go into the event um, queue on your um, church app, and it'll give you more information about that um, Okay. Can I ask a question? Yes. So, Billy, if somebody wants to know the menu for Wednesday night, because Wednesday night ministry and dinner started next week, where could the, where would they look for that? Bulletin. Bulletin. There yes. You so, there you go. Do you have another one? No. Okay. <laughs> hey, but that's good to know. Yeah, right? that's, a pe that's what people want to know. Well, so, trust Scott McClear. You don't have to text me anymore and ask me what the menu is. Yeah, because it's in the bulletin. It's in the bulletin. Yeah. And, you know, Wanda sends that out on Friday, so you have a couple days yeah, we get it. to Prepare. figure it out before Sunday. Plan your menu around it. Yeah, absolutely. That's good. And um, I heard that there was this really sweet lady that used to work here named Jean Stewart. I think you all know um, of Ms. Jean. And she had a section in the bulletin called Nuts and Bolts, yeah. from what I was told. So what um, we're doing is we're trying to bring the Nuts and Bolts section back in the bulletin. And so look for that section. It's going to be some updates about some things that we're doing here around the office. Um, maybe schedules for some folks around here if there are any vacations. Just to kind of keep you guys up to date. So you don't have to search the church calendar for these things. They're just kind of out and ready for you. Yeah, we might get a personal highlight of someone in the church or something going on. But those are just kind of little bullet points that uh, are interesting things to know. Yeah, and it's about midway to the end, and you'll see it. Um, Ms. Wanda puts this nice little border around it to grab your attention, nice. so hopefully you'll nice. see that. But some of the things that were in there lately were um, some different schedules for some part-time employees. But um, one really important thing that I wanted to share on Five at First, um, just in case you didn't see it in the bulletin, is we do have a mailing address change. So please keep a lookout for that. Um, we had been having some mail problems with receiving mail in a timely manner. Um, it touching too many hands, it being dropped off at different parts of the campus, and it didn't seem like we could get that right. And so what we did is we went ahead and opened up a PO box. So there is a PO box number with a different area code, and that PO box is located on um, New Hope Road. Mm -hmm. But just so you all are aware, if you do want to send something that will come in the mail, it um, the only way would be to use the P.O. box. If you do put the 317 um, South Chester Street address on there, it may just take a little longer for it to be re rerouted and put into our box. Um, really, the only other thing that I wanted to share with you is I know you all know our activities coordinator, Beth Francis, mm -hmm. and she is busy planning all the fun activities that she usually does. One of the things that she was taking on was... Um, the church calendar and facility usage requests so to give her a breather from that and actually let her focus on the things that she was hired for Ms. Wanda Henderson will be now um, manning the church calendar so if you have anything that needs to be put on the church calendar or changed please reach out to Wanda Henderson and that'll also be in the bulletin and then if you have any facility usage requests um, you want to use any of the rooms around here or you have a special occasion that you'd like to plan go ahead and reach out to me uh, Billy Marino, and I will be happy to help you with your request. That's awesome. Yes. Well, those are important uh, just details of kind of how we can function best as a church. Yeah. Um, as we uh, continue on in the fall and head into um, the second week of September, I'm really excited about um, I, kind of everything launching from our adult Sunday school classes to our Wednesday night ministry to different groups and, um, and ministry opportunities, service events. Um, but one of the things I'm really excited for for next week is that we are having one of our two prayer emphasis weeks. Every year, we have two weeks that especially highlight the call to prayer. And this is a, such a great time to do it because we're just kicking everything off. And it's a reminder um, that we really are to be a people who um, are committed to praying for these things. And that's where a lot of the real spiritual power comes from in, in all of our ministries is through prayer. So this Sunday, I'm going to be talking about uh, what does it mean to persevere in prayer, and especially to pray for an open door um, for the gospel from Colossians 4, verses 2 through 4. So I'm really excited about that. And then next week, from Tuesday through Friday, we're going to have uh, early morning dawn prayer meetings. 
And that's going to be in person in the sanctuary and on Zoom from 6.30 to 7 a.m. sharp. Following that, we always have some coffee and donuts. Um, and, and that's uh, always just nice to have a little fellowship. And then on Saturday of next week, we have uh, a, a prayer meeting. And that's a great one to bring families to because we do it a little later from 7.30 to 8. That'll be in the sanctuary as well. But there's also some evening opportunities you'll see in the bulletin for some prayer gatherings, Wednesday night and Thursday night. But um, as just spiritual leader in our church, just feel called at this season to call uh, us to prayer and specifically to pray for open doors um, for gospel growth in our own lives, but also uh, in the community around us. So please take note of that as everything kicks off. And today you can pray for our Korean team. They're coming back uh, from Korea uh, traveling back today, and we look forward to, to receiving them back to their homes and their church family later tonight. Um, but uh, we have great things coming up, and you're a key part of it. Uh, God has put you here in our church for a reason. Um, so let's lean into it, and I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday. Yes, wait, one quick question. Yeah. So what are the what is the nighttime day, um, prayer emphasis? So prayer? yeah, so Wednesday night um, from 6.30 to 7 in the chapel as part of my uh, class. We're going to do a, a 30 minutes of prayer. And then also on Thursday night from 6.30 to 7 in the fellowship hall, You anyone has the opportunity to join the elders and deacons for a prayer before their meeting. And that'll be a chance to pray with the leaders of the church. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, everybody. Have a great week. Bye.